Hello Virgo, I'm Susie from the Gift Hotel. and I'm here to read your cards from the 26th of April to the 1st of May. Yeah, 26th of April for Virgo, 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 what would you like Virgo to know if you just spoke cards? Virgo, 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 if you just spoke cards for Virgo, 26th of April, Virgo. 26th of April for Virgo. Okay, it's quick. 26th of April for Virgo, the Virgo, Angel Spirit Guides. One, two, three. Okay, so we have the Wheel of Fortune. A cycle is beginning. You are, well, maybe about to meet this love, eye to eye love. The wheel's turning in your favour. Okay, so something is equally emotional and it's fortunate so the witches have decided it's your turn so why is this so confusing you've got the high priestess here the guardian angel and the moon lots of secrets here Lots of secrets. It's like your gut is telling you something about new love. You're honouring your heart, but you need to untrap yourself from something. And this is sometimes a third party situation, so that you want to be more independent. You've completed a cycle with the world in love. And you're ready to maybe go and do something differently. Travel. This Knight of Wands and is coming in with passion. This Knight of Swords is coming in to tell you something. It's got your back. But it makes you feel like the Queen of Swords, which is cold to the warmth of a relationship, but very truthful and very my, I'm here in my way or the highway this new love this new equal love is confusing you because your gut is telling you there's secrets here even though the wheel's turning in your favour and it's equal love it's a reciprocal equal love You're feeling very emotional and want to untrap yourself from this gut feelings, this secrecy or this feeling old woman, young woman, middle-aged woman. Look at the faces. It's a very fertile card, very feeling. So you're overthinking, I th over feeling, but there's something niggling. With this high priestess, she'll come in your dreams. She can go to all walks of life. You might be a tarot reader. You might go with your feelings a lot. Um, you are esoteric. It's like you there's something that you know is about to happen. It could be travel. There's something to do with travel here, with the Nine of Pentacles in the world. You might be about to do something for yourself but have to embody someone else in the equation. So you want to be independent, you want to do something, you've got accolade of something that you've done and you're ready to strike the world and go out with this, this creativity to the world. You, you, you've been around a cycle, you've got the T-shirt and now you're about to go around again. But this Knight of Wands is rushing in with fire and passion But you want, you, you're the queen of swords. You want stability and mental truth. It's like you want serious, you need, it need, it's serious. This knight is coming in, he's a Gemini, so he wants to have your back. He's going to tell you something. He sparks up a war. These two people, these two knights might be at loggerheads. They might be coming in for a fight. And that causes you 
to feel cold to warmth of relationship because someone's acting immature maybe. The wheel's turning in your favour. You might have a spark of love with somebody which confuses you. Maybe you're dreaming about this person. You're feeling that your, your gut is telling you something. There's this queen of cups in this equation. It could be a third party equation. So you just want to be stable, independent. You want to look after the animals. You want to be in the garden. You want to publish a book. Because you've done the hard work. You've done it all yourself. But you're being offered this world maybe with this knight of wands or the knight of swords is coming in to tell you about this knight of wands and it's making you cold to this new beginning with this person because you you feel that you want to be more independent and they just want to come in and and, and chat about stuff or or be passionate where you're trying to be discerning and and clever mentally clever it does mean it can mean the widowed woman. So if you want to hold this love, you need to involve this person a little bit more in what you're doing. Or they need to involve themselves a little bit more in what you're doing. So rushing in and rushing out. Look at these two horses. They're up. They're buckaroos. They're clashing. They're acting very immature. It's all talk. and It's all talk about love and passion. But you're fed up with it, Virgo. She's obviously, she's an air sign, so Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. Just wants fairness. It's like, stop fighting. Stop trying to upset your, your new beginning. Your new beginning. You want this new beginning in love, but you've been around once and you want to do it right this time. Um, it's travel. Someone could be travelling towards you to, to tell you about something, but it's like, I'm not listening. I don't want to know. I just don't want to know. Are you just becoming independent so you can start a cycle that's the way you feel like a whole person? It's like, you don't want to know. I don't want to listen to it. I'm not, I've had enough of it. Stop running in, running out. Stop arguing with him or her. And um, something could come in your dreams. Someone could come in your dreams, even. It might shake this love up. It might shake you up a bit. Where you don't know who to be with or what to do. Am I making any sense? Sometimes I just go off on a tangent. But with this moon, you have to wait the month of the moon till you've got clarity. Because everything's sort of up in the ether. It's all psychic. It's all feeling. It's like, I think I'm trapped here. I want to be a bit more independent. I want to travel. Knight of Wands flies in with some passion. Knight of Swords flies in with some chat. Or this might be one person. And you're like, nah. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> nah. Virgo, what did they do? Angels and spirit guides. Oops. I'm not going to take it. Angels, spirit guides. What were the angels like, Virgo, to know? It was let your friends help you. So if that comes out again, angels, spirit guides at home. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So maybe you just feel you just want to be a bit more independent. But you do need to let this third person in and open your heart a bit to more to, to be passionately loving. And less up in your head. Angels and spirit. What would you like, Virgo, tonight? About the week of the 26th of April. Week of the 26th of April. See, you've got the Wheel of Fortune. It's a new cycle. Someone you're being seen eye to eye in love. It's like a twin flame card, but that it's confusing you. There's something secretive that your gut is telling you. Your, your psychicness is saying, hmm, I need to honour my heart. I do feel a bit trapped here. I need to be independent, but whole with somebody or whole as a whole person in love. I need to feel like a whole person. 
then you need to be a whole person. So, this, so it's causing this funny energy with this knight is flying in and out. This knight of swords is coming to tell you about this knight or tell you something. And you're like, can't be bothered. But it's saying it's safe for you to love. You might be codependent on this person or them on you. So you need to become a whole person to do this cycle, go around this relationship differently. Angel spirit guides. Virgo to know about the week of the 26th of April for Virgo. Can you one more card for Virgo, please? So it's codependency, addictions of friends and romantic life. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. It's safe for you to love. So there is love here. There's the two of cups. There's the wheel of fortune turning favour. Don't be up in your head about it too much. Your instincts are telling you something, but it could be that just that you have to talk with this person and stop being so codependent. Because you can achieve things here on your own. You can, but you want to do it with this person. And they need to understand, you, you, you need to share your heart more, Virgo, with that Queen of Swords up there. And you have to be more like the Queen of Cups, the heartfelt love. It's very psychic. If you might go and have a reading, a personal reading uh, with a psychic or a tarot reader this week. You'll, in, you'll be guided in your dreams. And you'll want to untrap yourself to feel more in control of your world and your love. And you don't want these people flying in and out or this information coming in and out. You, you've got absolute clarity and truth. And it's going to take someone... Maybe you're going to have to wait the month of the moon before you can accept love. People need to grow up here, I think. Hot, hot conversations, Virgo. Just have a chat. Right. Speak to you soon. I've been Susie from The Gift 202. And I'll see you soon. Please like, share and subscribe. Um, thank you. Bye.